How's it going everybody? This is Alakai. Today is a day I've been waiting for for some time. It is release of Dungeons and Dragons Dice Masters Battle for Faeron, right? So, um, got my hands on a starter deck, um, a starter uh, pack a little bit early. Decided to go ahead and buy one this uh, for this release because I really like the, ba uh, the basic action cards that I saw uh, being spoiled. Um, so let's go ahead and open this thing up and see what we get. In here, I know I also put in something really cool. And that is this. This is the Minsk and Boo uh, promo card that you got for pre-release ordering. So Minsk and Boo, five fist, go for the eyes, Boo. While active, Minsk and Boo get an experience token, plus one attack and plus one defense. At the end of your turn, if Minsk and Boo go to the use pile, remove all of their experience tokens. Once per turn, you may remove a token from Minsk and Boo to force an opponent, opposing character to block. Pretty awesome. Max one, five and a fist. There's a die. Um, if you notice right here, it's like a little, uh, little gerbil or hamster guy. And on the uh, die itself is like a little, tiny little paw print there. It's pretty cool. But they're pretty powerful in, in all rights. I mean, uh, level 3 is a 6-6 six, six for a 1 field. Max 1. It's a promo card. Hopefully, if you pre-released, ordered, you got one. But let's take a look at what we got here. Uh, we have, of course, the rule book. That's fine and dandy, but we're not going to go too much into that. Didn't do much pre-opening, if you will. Here are all the dice, really cool dice. Um, one thing that I'm excited about Dungeons and Dragons, and one thing that I really respect is the artwork, right? So um, the artwork for this pack is, the set is amazing. Um, just even in the Minsk and Boo, what a difference it is to see um, what we're looking at here. We got the uh, gold border, it's kind of got like a cool trim. There's your uh, rarity. Um, but it looks like all the cards were actually drawn for the set and that's pretty amazing um personally i think that it has something to do with uh, watsi or wizards of the coast um since they own um this ip they likely decided to go ahead and make the drawings for it um in accordance with their magic uh, uh their magic uh let's see standards um really cool dice and of course we're going to get another set of um, sidekick dice and whatnot. Not really too concerned about those, to be honest with you. Looks like the same colors as before. Um, one thing that does kind of look funky is this die looks like it's a little bit off. Like the fists are not quite filled in. But anyways, it doesn't matter. I'm looking at the cards. I want to see the cards. Let's take a look. Yeah, here we go. Orange. So we have, uh, your basic action cards, okay, brown, pink, purple, and orange. Um, again, uh, these, if you watch some of my other videos, you've noticed that I do have quite a few of these uh, sidekick dice and these basic action cards, basic action uh, uh, color reminders. Uh, well, I kind of just give them away. Oh, nothing. This is not a card. This is actually paper this time. Expansion pack checklist. Um, so if you're looking for another card, this is uh, this is paper. Um, we have our two uh, dice bags. Uh, people just call them air sickness bags, but whatever. I uh, don't mind them at all because, like I said before, um, keeps the cost down. Now, one thing that you you should be aware of is that the starter pack for Dungeons and Dragons is uh, more expensive. It is twenty dollars instead of fifteen dollars, which was the price in the past. Um, I'm not sure. Uh, Yu-Gi-Oh didn't really have, uh, didn't have all the character cards um, uh, that they're get, you're getting here. Maybe they're just charging more for the cool artwork, which I am, uh, I'm good with actually. So let's go over some of the basic actions. This is really the reason why I decided to go and get a starter pack for this. Uh, Stinking Cloud, a two cost basic action card, deals one damage to all characters, both players. Level one characters can attack or block this turn. Wow, that's pretty great. Um, it says use three. Oh well, yeah, I guess so. Obviously, uh, resurrection. Roll a die from your use pile. Place into your reserve. Okay, right. Not too bad. Globals. Once during your turn, pay a shield to draw a die from your bag and place it in your prep area. What? 
draw a die from my bag. That's awesome. Polymorph, three cost. Swap a fielded character with a non-NPC character. Not non-NPCs are the uh, sidekicks, right? The uh, NPCs are sidekicks in this case. Uh, Non-NPC is not sidekicks. From that player's use pile, spin the character to level one. This does not trigger when fielded effects. Oh, that's great. So it basically just transfers uh, one character from another area. Globals, pay a mask, spin one of your characters down a level to spin another character up a level. Um, incredible. This is a great card. This is absolutely, uh, he's using that humanity deck that you're always constantly spinning players' levels with. Magic Missile, been hearing some controversies or some uh, talk about this. Three cost, Magic Missile, basic action. Deal two damage to a target, play, target character or player. Double burst, deal extra damage to a character equal to the level of your highest level adventure in the field. Wow. And pay a bolt, deal one damage to a character. Really cool for a basic action card to have that on there. Fireball, basic action. Of course, Magic's going to have something like this. Deal two damage to each player and each character. What? Deal two damage? That's amazing for four costs, though. He may spend a bolt to deal one damage to a target character. He may do this multiple times. Double burst, deal one additional damage to each player and each character. Wow, that's great. That is a really powerful card. Really strong way to knock things out. Finger of Death, five cost. Move a level one character from the field to its prep area. Field to the prep, to its prep area. Why? Instead, move a character of any level. Instead, move a character of any level into its bag. One. Oh, right. So, for the opponent. So, yeah. Duh. Dimension door, four cost. Once one target character you control cannot be blocked this turn. Okay, that's really cool. Nice evasion. Cone of cold, three cost. Deal one damage to one character, two damage to second character, and three damage to a third character. You may use this action if there are at least three characters in the field. Oh, okay, so this is this is like exactly like magic. There was that uh, cone of uh, fire or something. Pay a bolt, pay a fist. One block character gets. Plus two attack. One blocked attack against. Okay, that's not too bad. Charm. Deal. Draw three dice. Roll any NPCs you drew. Place the other dice in your use pile. You may instead choose to roll one of your dice and place the other two in your use pile. And blessing. Each of your character gets plus one attack and plus one defense. Three cost. Two of your characters get an additional plus. This is uh. This is a sidekick deck for sure. This is absolutely the flying sidekicks helper. Um. I'm gonna go ahead and note this ahead of time. This, I, I don't know, maybe it's just my imagination. These feel thicker. These feel way more like magic cards than than uh, Dice Masters cards. They're not nearly as, uh, as flimsy as some of the other ones, but. Okay, let's go through some of the, uh, the cool characters. Vampire, Master Undead, four uh, mask. One thing that I do have a little bit of a problem with is that the little symbol there kind of covers up the mask symbol so it kind of makes it look a little harder so there's vampire three four four and drain drain and it's been down and engaged foes the first time each turn an attacking vampire knocks out an adventure you gain one life and your opponent loses one life nice one thing that i do notice about this right off the bat is that uh it's a two fielding two six on level three um might be good with that man well, the four cost. So, this is its uh, well second uncommon. The first time each turn an attacking vampire damages a character, gain two life. Then draw a die and place it in your prep area. Nice, churn right. Three. The first time each turn an attacking vampire damages a character, gain one life. All right. Well, for a three cost, that's not too terrible, especially with those kind of stats. But two fielding costs is kind of uh, a lot. All right. So troll. Four, five, and five. These are all commons, by the way, so I can't really distinguish them, but this is the way it came out of the pack. You saw it. Um, five, Fist, Troll, Master Humanoid. When Troll regenerates, knock out an opposing engaged creature and deal one damage to your opponent. And regenerates, uh, looks like, uh, just like in Magic, it's got uh, a keyword here, regenerate. Reroll when knocked out. Very, very cool. So it comes back out. Um, the stats are 1, 1, 2. Level 3 is a 5, 5. So it gives you an idea about what kind of what we're dealing with here. When Troll regenerates, knock out an opposing king. That's pretty awesome. Apprentice Humanoid. Apprentice Humanoid. The first time each turn a Troll regenerates, gain 2 life. 
and of course it has to regenerate and then four and a fist just uh, the regenerate not too bad don't know where I would play it but not terrible human paladin we have some different symbols going on here like a little red one and a purple one and a white maybe that's gonna have something to do with uh, the type of cards they are and later on uh, human paladin master lords alliance and at a four cost shield experience once per turn gain a one one token when you knock out a monster okay cool all, they all have experience and master lords alliance says while active you take no damage from your opponents when fielded effects when fielded oh very cool that's nice that's a uh, anti-storm right three costs apprentice harper it's got a global pay a shield reduce damage you take from a character's ability to one now, originally, this was a card that was discussed and saying, oh, yeah, this is great for Spider-Man, but in actuality, Spider-Man's text really says uh, reduce your opponent's life total to 10, not damage, except damage. So that's uh, that's pretty good for the big hitters, things like maybe Pyotr or uh, maybe like Gobby or something. Um, Human Paladin, Minion Order of the Gauntlet. It's got experience again. When fielded, your Paladins and NPCs take no damage for the rest of the turn. All right, but for three costs, that's not bad. We're gonna go with Halfling Thief. I, I, I'm sorry, I, I need to go on. This is this is this is these are absolutely thicker. I, I I just I think I really think they're thicker. Halfling Thief. This feels really good. Um, they all have experience, and Master Zentarum at a four cost says here: when assigned to attack, your opponents move a die from his prep area to the use pile if able. Very cool. Very, very cool. When assigned to, and it's got a burst. When assigned to attack, you may knock out an opposing adventure before your opponent moves a dice. Cool. <laughs> wow. Halfling Thief, Apprentice, Emerald, Enclave. Uh, when fielded, your opponent draws two dice. This triggers no effects. You choose whether to place each die either back in the bag or in the used pile. Cool. And then for only a two mask. When fielded, it's got burst. When fielded, draw a die. If it is an NPC, place it in your news pile. If not, roll it. Very cool. 3-3 three, three, uh, for two costs there. Green Dragon. Now we're going to start to get into some dragons here. Six and a fist. Uh, breath Weapon 2. Pay 2 to deal 2 damage to your opponent. All his creatures. Wow! Green Dragon, Master Dragon. Spin each character damaged by this Breath Weapon down one level. Amazing. Five cost, breath weapon two. Let's go the same thing. Keep in mind, level three, six, six. And then the four cost, this is a breath weapon one. So these two have the breath weapon two, this is a breath weapon one. Pretty straightforward card, really cool. I like these dragons, right? Because Lord of D. Well, uh, some Yu Gi Oh action. Gelatinous Cube. Master Ooze, three and a shield. Whenever a character is knocked out during the attack step, you may pay shield to have a Gelatinous Cube capture it. This capture lasts until it is used again. Gelatinous Q may block any number of NPCs. Oh, wow. Really cool. Level 3 is 2, 3, 5. Very cool. 2 field cost, 3, 5. Here's a 3 shield. Whenever a character is knocked out during the attack step, you may pay shield to have Gelatinous Cube capture it. This capture lasts until you use it again. And then 3 in a shield. When fielded, capture an opposing NPC. This capture lasts until you field another Gelatinous Cube. I personally like that one right there. That's a Minion Ooze. Wow, it seems like I'm getting a lot of cards too, but I guess it is 44, right? Blue Dragon. Six cost, Master Dragon, six in a bolt, Breath Weapon three. We've seen this before. Pay three to deal three damage to your opponent and all his creatures. All his creatures. Ridiculous card. Amazing. Four bolt, Apprentice Dragon, Breath Weapon one. While active, whenever you use an action die's ability, choose an opposing character. That character cannot block this turn. Okay. And Breath Weapon 2 for a 5 cost. Pay 2 to deal 2 damage to your, to your opponent, all his creatures. Oh wow, there's already a dragon deck I've been thinking about. And the Grandmaster, everybody's looking forward to this guy, Beholder, Master Aberration. If this is the first die assigned to attack this turn, you may immediately use each of the basic action die abilities without burst once, as if you had just rolled those dice. Global, pay 1 energy, move a die showing an action face from your reserve to your prep area. Do not roll it next turn. Oh, cool. Master Aberration. Wow. Talk about a control card. Apprentice Aberration. When fielded, move up to two of your fielded NPCs to your use pile. For each one moved, you may purchase a basic action die at no cost. 
global pay one energy move a die showing an action phase from your reserve to your prep area do not roll it next turn and then minion aberration master aberration apprentice aberration <laughs> minion aberration and whenever you purchase or use a basic action die deal one Deal one to target opponent or creature. I assume it's deal one damage. Pay one energy for global. Move a die showing an action phase from your reserve to your prep area. Do not roll it next turn. Okay, so beholders really focus really on action cards, really action dice. That's cool. I can't get over the fact that these dragons are so powerful. Really, these dragons are a standout for me. I'm really going to be focused on trying to use these things as breath weapon. Um, a lot of you saw me loving the Hulk and uh, also because of the global ability. But but wow, Dungeons and Dragons, right? Three. There's, that's, a, that's a massive attack. And you hit the guy too. Uh, amazing. So, guys, this is... Uh, this is the starter pack, and I'm really excited about playing this. I'm really excited about starting to brew. Um, I'm going to be coming back and opening some packs. I'm going to be uh, discussing some of the latest um, uh, nerfs or changes that uh, uh, WizKids has made just in the last day. Um, and we'll see you in a little bit. Take care, guys. Thanks.